because the pain, pain they've gone through, uh, you know, it never, never, uh, never stopped. Even though the uh, majority of the kids came back to their parents, some didn't. Some uh, died before they managed to get home. I also was taken away on a train from Robinvale, but I was one of the lucky ones that my mum came and found me. And my mum had to move around a lot, move with us, because um, she was very frightened of welfare board taking us, you know. So she did do a lot of moving around. Mm. I felt um, very glad, you know, because I was taken away from my parents at a young age, um, to have it acknowledged that the hurt was there, that we'd faced as when we were taken away. So, but it doesn't take away the memories that you've got of taken away, what you've lost in that time. So it was a very emotional bride sort of thing for me, you know, I, yeah. Cause I got told for 53 years, the old man's dead. How do you say sorry, 53 years without a father? The government told me he was dead all my life, but he's not. I talk to him every night. I mean, the apology uh, was a feel-good thing, but I still haven't, uh, I've still yet to see anything solid happening on the ground uh, to remedy some of the uh, the effects that it had on, on families. All my brothers, sisters, cousins, aunties, uncles, you know, all my relatives that were taken away from me, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I couldn't be there for them. Yeah. And we love you.